Help support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps you protected when shopping online. Get $5 to try it now by using promo code QZZ2J. Starting with that, I think our first guest on my coverage is here. Hello, hi. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. I heard that you mentioned the last day of the show. How was the show for you overall? The show has been really good. Um, a little weird, you know, having it virtually, but still really excited to uh, be able to connect with everyone this year. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is our fourth year at CES. Um, in many ways, actually, we see a lot of silver linings making a remote, right? I mean, you don't have to squeeze shoulder to shoulder with 250,000 people, um, but you do miss some of the energy. You do miss some of the handshakes. You do miss some of the meetings. Uh, in mm -hmm, person, definitely. But, uh, but there's actually a lot of but, good points about it as well. So, yes, ahead. but on that, can you please introduce yourself for me? Yeah, so my name is Alice. I'm uh, the CEO of Merku. We focus heavily on wireless communication systems uh, that manifests itself into creating powerful, you know, Wi-Fi mesh Wi-Fi routers as well as wireless sensing devices for smartphones and for automobiles. And at CES uh, this year, we actually picked up the uh, Mark of Excellence Award for our brand new M6 AX mesh system. So we're very pleased wow. to be honored with that. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about the M6. So I, I think, you know, the new normal term was something we threw around a lot in 2020. Uh, but in 2021, working from home, video streaming quality, that's almost table stakes. And if you're not at that level yet, and about 30 or 40% of households in the U.S. Uh, struggle with internet connection on a weekly basis. So M6 is the newest Wi-Fi standard. So traditionally we have something called, you know, Wi-Fi 5. Now Wi-Fi 6 is the new standard with a lot more bandwidth, a lot faster speeds. Um, essentially with all the demands, right, of video conferencing, uh, video streaming, you're going to need a lot more oomph to your home connectivity and that's what the m6 provides and ces this year there's a lot of really cool products so all those products are going to need a really stable wireless connection and and that's what we provide here uh, at Merco. definitely definitely i don't know if you were on the show or were listening in a little bit before you came on but we were just talking about internet connection issues and you know just the type of things that we experience with everything being virtual um, so tell us a little bit more about how exactly this can help us and, and how this helps your average customer. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, right? I mean, you don't get buffering when you do the face-to-face -face meetings uh, in person, but you definitely have that as a, as a hindrance when you do online events like what CS is doing this year. For the average user, really, the end result is that you're going to get a really good connection. Um, you know, some of the people around us, friends and family, they'll always complain that, okay, at 6 p.m., my connection goes down because everybody's off work and watching Netflix at the same time. And <laughs> I think the demand for this is a lot more, right? So I think, you know, even for you guys, what you guys talked about earlier is absolutely true. You know, we don't recognize working from home, but at the same time, you know, there's kids and there's other people in the house also kind of vying for that bandwidth where normally, you know, if you're just by yourself, you wouldn't have that issue. So, um, the product is going to deliver consistent coverage. The product will be, you know, delivering really good, uh, steady streams that we all need, and it looks pretty good. We won a few design awards. Uh, I'm happy to announce that as well. And um, the router is best, you know, put on your office table. It's best put into your living room. Uh, we can probably show it off. We spent a lot of time on design, right? Because we want to make sure this thing looks good, and we owe it to the people that that has bought it in the past and we owe it to our future customers as well to make something that looks good. You know, no one wants an ugly router. Definitely. I, I did go on your website a little bit earlier today and I noticed that that your router is definitely a work of art. It's definitely something that you should want to show off. Um, it shouldn't be something ugly that you keep in the closet um, or something that you hide because it needs to be out in the open so you get the best uh, connection. So I totally agree with you. 
Yeah, it's also a sense of responsibility. I mean, I see that you have a couple of art, artwork things behind you right now, and a home is, is someone's personal space, right? So if you're putting something in their home, it, it better look good. <laughs> or or else you're doing this service to that individual. So yeah, speaking of my home, I mean, I live in an apartment complex where, you know, there are a lot of different connections all around me. Is there any way that this uh, product can help me in particular? Well, I think actually in apartments, depending on, on the layout uh, and depending on the, the saturation, Wi-Fi doesn't do a great job of going through walls. Um, mm -hmm. But what this is going to do greatly for you is that you can put this in a single room um, and it can you know, blanket your entire condo or entire apartment with really steady coverage. So it, has a, 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 it does a great job of balancing off walls, around walls, around corners. Um, but it definitely won't steep into your, your neighbor's coverage as much. So um, that's definitely something that, that we kept in mind because no one wants to, to pick, be picking up other people's streams, right? I think that's always mm -hmm. a privacy concern that we have. I definitely agree. Um, so how has CES 2021 been treating you guys other than your awards? Have you been um, talking with anyone else that may be giving you good feedback? Yeah, I mean, I, I think you summed it up pretty well there. The awards and, and talking to great people. Uh, we have some good conversations. Uh, it's It's been a busy four days for us. It's almost back to back to back meetings. Uh, I drank almost all of the coffee that's available in the house here. <laughs> Uh, and we're based in we're based in Canada, so we can't go anywhere anymore in Ontario because the whole province has been locked down. Um, oh, yeah. So, we, yeah. But but I think um, no, it's been it's been one of the best, if not the best, shows we ever had, just because of the fact that we've been able to have, to meet with so many great people um, and and have such great conversations. And this is a time where you know, I love all the new toys and gadgets just as I was CES. I mean, I, I follow your, your stream a little bit as well. I know you guys are covering some of that stuff and all mm -hmm. those things, you know, they need to have some sort of great backbone, a great wireless backbone. So uh, we've been having a great, a great time. Uh, I'm not advocating for CES 2022 to be online. I want to go back to Vegas, <laughs> right? I want to yeah. have those meetings face to face. But, uh, I'm sure you guys do as well, um, but it's definitely been a great, a great experience for us this year. That's awesome. And like I said, I did go on your website earlier and I noticed that you guys had multiple colors for your routers. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I, I mean, it always goes back to what it really represents in the home. Um, I think, you know, we really have a lot of conversations about respect for people's houses. Um, there's a lot of, you know, products that, that goes into people's homes that looks very, you know, very boring or very ugly. And you don't want that sitting there, right? So I think we want to be able to make sure that you can customize it for, um, you know, for your individual in, for individual living room or, or, or office. We want to give you the options to do that. So we have, uh, as a standard, you know, red, white, and black. But, you know, we, we do have customized colors in there as well uh, in the, for our clients. Um, so, yeah, so definitely this, this concept of now we're spending so much time in our homes and products coming into our homes. I think the need for aesthetics, a need for a respect for artwork uh, is, is more critical than, than ever. Yeah, I definitely agree with you there. Um, so going back around, what is the price point on each of these routers and the availability on them? Yeah, we're shipping, uh, we're shipping these routers um, Q1 of this year. Uh, we all already have uh, an order lined up. Um, I'm, not gonna review any kind of marketing plans that we have online right now, um, but the router would you know retail on our Merco.com website. You can get it there, and you're also able to buy it with you know specific internet service providers that we work with. So the pricing of the router really depends on uh, the promotion that we're going to run, and I think there's some things that were coming down the down the road as well. But currently, it's priced at you know three hundred and forty nine dollars. So uh, it's something that we think is is a Good price point for this economy. It's good to you know, and one router really covers, you know, three thousand, three thousand five hundred square feet of space. So it's going to be good for, uh, for your average average home. Um, so I think that's something that we want to be able to make this more ubiquitous, make this more accessible for for everybody uh, in the world. Yeah, and for one more time, uh, if anyone wanted to find more information about your company, where can they go and how can they find out more? Uh, 
go online. I, I think the best thing is go on Merco.com. So www.merckku.com. Our team has built a really easy to use uh, form there as well. We want to ask some questions. Uh, if you want to send us an email, feel free to contact us literally at contact. Uh, so C O N T A C T at Merkle.com. And we'd be happy to respond to an email from you guys. Perfect. Thank you so much, Alex, for coming on the show and talking about this. Thank you very much for your time and enjoy the rest of the couple of hours you guys have. You too. Have a great rest of your CES, whatever is left. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye bye. I hope you enjoyed that interview, and if you did, make sure you check out some of the more than 100 interviews we conducted during the virtual CES 2021 coverage. And of course, subscribe here on YouTube, hit the notification bell to learn when we post new content and when we go live.